Hello everyone, how you doing? Um, so today I'm going to, um, I get a lot of people asking me about um, how I deal with the flies and my fly situation. Hello, Just one minute, speakers doing? are on. Um, so yeah, so um, well, um, a lot of planning really and um, Basically, if you've got thousands of mantids to feed and 90% of the time they're feeding on green bottles or blue bottles, um, you're going to go through a lot of flies. So, basically, um, you want to try and look after them, because otherwise you're just going to end up with a load of dead flies and no, a lot of hungry mandibles to feed. So, um, basically, I've um, it's been trial and error for quite a few years now, and. Um, I've landed on, a, on a, a relatively simple strategy that I quite like, it uh, works for me, um, so, um, so yeah, so I'll talk you through it and um, this is what I do. So basically, you get yourself some maggots, I, I, so I use maggots because um, maggots can be kept viable in the fridge or a, or a relatively cold place for, um, for quite a few weeks, um, well actually they'll last up to five, six, seven, eight weeks. Over time, viability will go down. Um, but for a good four or five weeks, you should get at least 90 to 100% hatch rate if they're looked after properly. So basically, um, I buy a, a pint of green bottles or pinkies and um, white maggots, which are blue bottles. I buy a pint of each. Usually about every four weeks, I'll go through both those, but you can get fewer amounts. Um, I get mine from wormsdirect.co.uk, um, I've had them from them for years now and um, they, re they work really well for me. So um, yeah, I mean you can get some um, you can get some from your local fish and tackle shop or whatever, so you know whatever, that works for me anyway. So basically they go in the fridge, don't tell the missus, um, and um, basically about every I take out a load, so you can see there, got a load of maggots there, they, they are fresh out today they are, um, and then also pinkies as well, take them out, so um, this is just one of your box standard plastic containers with a hole in the lid, um, and that's stage one, take them out of the fridge, they're going to take, um, they're going to take quite a few weeks about, uh, sorry, quite a few days, probably about seven to ten days to turn to casters. So these I took out about a week ago or so, so you can see they're casters now. And by the time you get to this stage, um, basically you need to start thinking about what you're going to do next. So for me, I have, I have this device. So basically I'm on like, um, this is about Mark III now. This is just something I've knocked up together. Um, basically, um, it's what, a miniature cereal container with the lid. Um, basically, a um, bit of tubing. In fact, if I just put it together for you, um, I'm going to show you now what I do. So, mesh for the top. Some items. This is just for um, the flies to run around on and stuff, so they're not like scratching at the sides and everything. I'm going to put some gloves on because um, I don't like to contaminate the stuff that I'm using with my sweaty horrible hands so we'll get those gloves on just trying to keep everything clean you know how it is and ooh, there we go right so just a simple small um, cereal box holder thing. Basically what I've done is I've cut a hole in the side there and I've got some tubing. Choose whatever size you want, it's up to you. Um, and then obviously cut the hole to fit the tube. Put that in so it's just sticking out like that. And then you want, this is just to increase the surface area in there, give the, um, well A it um, helps the Gives something for the flies to kind of roost on and stuff like that. But also, um, you want something to sit this pot in. So basically, the pot goes on there like that. So, 
I like to gut load the flies. Um, basically, if you're giving the um, if you're giving the flies to mantids, um, I mean they've got nutritional value, obviously. But um, if you gut load your flies, then basically not only are you adding um, extra nutritional value to the flies and therefore to your mantids, but also you are um, you can increase the uh, lifespan of the fly because otherwise they'll be dead within a few days. So uh, basically, I use a mixture of water, honey. Just your box standard runny honey from the shop and a um, bee pollen, uh, which has got all the amino acids and proteins and all that good stuff in there. So the, I mix it all together. So I've just got, I've already got a little mixture here. Mix it all up. Water, honey and bee pollen together like that. Pour it into this pot. Just a bit. You don't want it, you don't want it soaking too much. A bit of cut, pre-cut uh, sponge. Soaks it all up nicely. Basically, put your sponge in, press it down, soak up all that yummy goodness, like that, soak it all up nicely. And then I'm going to add a little bit more water, just to, and then I'm going to add some runny honey, just, just a little bit on the top. Like that. Lovely. It's about tea time now, right? Anyway, yum yum. Right, so pot inside. There you go. That's just sitting nicely on top of that um, springy thing I, did, I made. And then a bit more surface area. This is just more stuff for the flies to, to sit on and roost on. It just like you know, it's it's nice to just create a bit of an environment for them. I know they're only flies and they're going to get eaten, but you know you want to try and expand their life as much as possible because, you know, I, I'm going to be I'm going to end up with probably about fifty to a hundred flies in there, and I'll not use them all in within a couple of days. You know, so uh, sometimes they're in there a week, and they survive. But that's because I've taken the time to feed them and create an environment whereby you know they can just survive really so put the mesh over the top like that lid done obviously lift up the lid then you've got some air coming through and then basically so this was phase one maggots out of the fridge phase two maggots turned to casters about a week later and then phase three You've got, you can't quite see it, but as soon as, as soon as those casters start to hatch, about another week after that, you'll, as soon as they get a fly or two starting to hatch, then it's time to attach it to this bad boy. So basically what you need to do is you need to make sure that the hole on top obviously fits onto that. So these standard holes are too small, unless you use thinner piping, but I, like, I prefer a slightly larger pipe. Um, so yeah, so just cut the hole a little bit more, put it over there like that, done, there you have it, so as soon as they start hatching, they'll go into there and feed on all the yummy goodness, and like I showed you before, here's one I made earlier, so you can see flies are hatching nicely, um, they're going to go into there, you know, they're gut feeding, they're sucking on that yummy hummy, um, honey, water and uh, bee pollen and uh, yeah, I'll have them in there for however long I need them, about a week. And then obviously the, the good thing is about this, keep taking flies out every five, four or five days or something like that and um, you'll get flies coming through. So you just use them up and then the next lot will be coming through ready. I've got a few of these um, just in case I get too many flies hatching and then obviously you give these a wash out, change it and then just do it again. So there you go. When I want to get flies out of there, oh, damn it, I thought, I, I knew it was too good to be true, I thought I'd got everything ready, one sec. Right. Here we go. 
So just get an empty one again with the hole on the top. Don't forget your plunger. Take that off like that. Cover that up, otherwise you get flies going everywhere. Put that over there. There you go. And then I'll just tap it down a little bit. See the flies going in? Boom. Right. Need another plunger. Take that off. Cover the hole. Or just put that back on. And then you've got flies. Get yourself another little pot. Put the pot on. Shake it out. I'll show you. Done. Fly. Ready. Ready to feed your mantis. Lovely gut loaded fly. Yum yum. There you go. I think that's everything. Thanks for tuning in guys. See you later.